Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? I'll tell you. He, uh, he's definitely got my sleep schedule screwed all the hell up. I, uh, but I can't, I don't think it's all his fault. Because, uh, that amazement you guys are feeling, dude, I am totally in it, too. That bit last night about, uh, the three kings and, uh, they mingle and we go into other realms and, uh, there's always the middle king, which is, uh, the one that lives as one of the children until the end. And then all the children wake up to what's really going on. That's new stuff to me. I, and I was learning it as it's coming out of my damn mouth, guys. Dude, I really am a speaker. And I'm listening too. <laughs> that was, uh, that was pretty mind blowing. That was, uh, It was definitely a little information. You know, I love that informational TV. Never thought it'd come out of my own mouth, though. Dude, that was definitely different. Then after I got it, and, and it took me a minute. I, I signed off and laid back and had soaked that up. And then uh, we kept talking, kept talking. And so I get to tell you. What y'all missed after I signed off last night. Because I was up till, I don't even know, I think at least 4 o'clock. I don't know. But, uh, it's more about heaven and how it, it's different up there. The physics are different. We don't have gravity like here. I mean, you're, you stay on the ground, it. But, and the only way you can get off the ground is through magic, but you don't weigh anything. You're zero if you, they don't have scales. Because, see, scales really are just a measurement of force between us and the ground. And there is no force between you and the ground up there. And, uh, the thing with sound, you know, sound works here by bouncing off the waves of the air. I mean, we're in a pool of air, guys. I don't know if y'all knew that, but we are swimming in air. And that is one of the main things about movement around here that we have friction because everything that moves has friction against that air. We're moving against the air. It's not as strong as when we're in water, obviously, but it is in fact what we are doing and that's why we have what's called aerodynamics um you don't have that up there we don't have air we don't breathe and our avatar has only one organ and we might call it our chatra here or our heart or our soul it's the only thing that's inside that thing. There's no sails. There's no anything else. And uh, it's powered off that chakra. It's your soul. And how strong your soul is, is how much that avatar can do. I mean, metachlorins is the word he wants me to use. Isn't that chakra? Or that soul? And change can happen two ways up there. One with your hands and the other with the chakra, the magic. And so if you don't have any magic or you're very 
minimal power, you're going to be doing everything with your hands or your feet when it comes to moving or getting places. But that's why they always said that angels fly. Because uh, they move off their chakra. And they can leave the surface of heaven and go into the realms above, which are endless. And all the White Walkers want to go up there. Because that's where the cool stuff has been built. The really uh, awesome stuff. Because the things that are built on heaven were built with hands. No magic. But the things built up in the realm, they were built with magic. And so... Uh, Grabbing an armload of White Walkers and having a ball for the day for them. It's one of those treats that all angels get to do. And uh, they kind of serve you in the process because you're both helping each other out. And how strong you are is how many White Walkers you can take with you. Yeah, just imagine there's over a thousand different versions of Disneyland. Or uh, magical places. And all the White Walkers you can take. It's the more fun that there is. So. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> really, really. Cool little program up there. And me being the middle king. Mankind is figuring it out now peace will come over the world and we will have a whole bunch more angels all the way to Job in the future graduating classes of uh, leaving the nursery and being born in heaven and so those numbers in the White Walkers are going to get a lot more love. And you and I will get a lot more chances to serve and to help those underneath us and lift them up. Literally. Literally. And in the process, make a whole new group of friends. People from all timelines. That's the eternal part about up there. Once you're there, you're just, you're from a timeline. And every one of us, when we die, that's alive today through Christmas Eve will be the only ones in heaven that have stood on both sides of the middle line of heaven. The faith and proof. So we got a pretty friggin' important marker, guys. We are the ultimate graduating class. And um, everybody 
for millennials, or for many, many years, not millennials. Yeah, you guys are part of it too, but anyway, um, for many, many years, are going to want to know what it was like on that marker. How was you living? What was you doing when the fuse went by? And you realized there was a fuse blowing or firing. And that uh, the second coming was coming. And that God was coming to rescue you. And then you're going to be able to tell them the stories about the seven years after. And your stories are going to be famous. I see, people seek you out. To uh, want to see your experiences. And it'll happen. I mean, 1,500 years from now, they're going to go, dude, I got to go, I got to go check out one of those guys from the second coming. You got to hear his story. You got to hear, oh, you got to hear this guy's story. Oh my gosh. Oh man. He was at the verge of saying, screw it. There is no heaven, there's hell. It's all blah, 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 blah. Oh, there is God? It is real? And that build up every day. Oh, man. He is right. He is right. And we see that fuse getting bigger and bigger and closer and closer. Oh, yeah. And so all your stories are going to be perspectives of this very Christmas Eve. And uh, it'll be talked about for years and years and years and years and years. Kind of, where were you? Yeah, that is what it's going to be. And the most incredible part is we haven't even finished it, is it? I mean, we are dead smack middle of it. That is what we are. We see the fuse and we see it getting big. And uh, we're just waiting for the damn bang. Oh, man, bring on the bang. <laughs> oh, man. Footsteps are a little lighter today, aren't they? That load at work, it... It don't mind so much now, does it? That crying baby. Oh, come here, baby. Come here. Mama, why don't I come over and we'll make some cookies? Huh? Yeah. Dad, let's go fishing. Come on. Get in the truck. Let's go. Don't worry about it. Shit, we'll mow that later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, make the stories good. Make the stories all the way to Christmas Day really awesome. Because everybody's going to want to share with what you did. I know I'm one first in line, okay? I get to check it all out, too. Make me proud. Don't embarrass me. But bear in mind... That fuse is lit. And we do got a big bang coming. So, uh, I'm going to play some more music and uh, wake up and have my coffee. Uh, you know, my itinerary is uh, unknown, with the exception of I am not going to my buddies to watch the damn game. Uh, I'm not really all that sour about that. I'm not sour about that at all. I do have an awful taste in my mouth about that Mark of the Beast last night. I can't quite get that out. Ow. Oh, I just don't like talking like that stuff. You know, it's it's on the records. It's done. I'm not going there no more. That's it. I'm done. No. No. That's it. We, we ain't going there. We're just telling them, hey, this is the gig. That's it. No more. You're warned. Act right. And I can get my palate rinsed. And uh, 
get my mojo back, and uh, we get back to laughing, which is what we're supposed to be doing, all right? So anyway, it's Saturday. Have some fun. Do some cool stuff. You can catch these tapes anytime. They're going to be forever. That's a guarantee. They're forever. So uh, you'll uh, always be able to come back to it and check it out. So go spend some time with family. Have fun. All right. I got to get back to my music. And I'll be back.